Creating a permanent human settlement on Mars by 2025 is a very difficult undertaking to do. But what if everyone goes crazy? Well, Mars One is attempting to solve that problem now by building settlements for people to um, practice being alone in the vacuum of loneliness, <laughs> in, beyond the vacuum in general of space. Oh gosh, you know, it's really crazy. I mean, they, obviously they talk about the size of quarters that people are gonna be living in, but to be honest with you, you know, hundreds of thousands of people signed up for this and wanted the job. I would say no thank you. I'm a big fan of green and earth and trees, and I think that portion would drive me crazy. Just not being around anything but dry, sandy dirt well, and it's other also, people. You're stuck with just a few people. Yeah, I mean, these are groups exactly. of two men and two mm -hmm. women. Um, you better get along really yeah. well. Very biblical. <laughs> yes, it's pretty much Noah's Ark if Earth dies all at once. It's kind of interesting that they did pick uh, couples that were male and female. You know, that's something to think about is, are they really planning to have something happen no. to planet Earth? No. <laughs> Am I having a space baby <laughs> while I die on Mars? Well, you I think mean, about it. I mean, do these people have to go through fertility testing? Are they, are they planning for something that we don't know about? Those are the type of things that I think about. When, when I first heard about this, I was actually interested in going to Mars. I think that's a cool thing to do with your life. Yeah, it's probably boring and you regret it after 5, 10, really? 15, Really? Because I don't think it's, I don't think it ever get to that point. I think I'd be long dead before I reach the five year point even. <laughs> because know. there's so much that can go You're wrong. You're expecting shit to go down I am Mars. expecting yeah. shit to go down. No, because listen, it, we've never, not even NASA has the ability now to send people to Mars or even a settlement on Mars, n not even the moon, and it's so much closer and so much more accessible to us. This, mm -hmm. to me, I feel like is an extremely unrealistic uh, goal. I mean, I applaud them for having a goal and and dreaming um, to make that innovation, but I, I think it's extremely not plausible, and also it's fraught with chances where you could well, die the, horribly. The resources alone, I mean, if you think about it, there's no resources on that planet whatsoever, and everything has to be shipped out there, and everything has to be brought in. So should something happen, the point of someone coming from Earth to that settlement is, it, it's it's like... There's just not enough time to take mm -hmm. care of anything should it happen. So those people are at mega high risk. I was really surprised by their timetable. I've never seen it spelled out before. So in theory, there's going to be 24 to 40 people that they're going to send in groups of four, which two will always be two women. men and two women, ideally from different continents. I think it I was know. even like two different continents, which was interesting. If this isn't brewing four different continents. space madness, I don't know what is. That's but what I think seems like they have a breeding schedule, that too. That is what I'm saying. There's always a plan. I feel that there's some underlying plan in place that we don't know. I mean, four different continents, only four, and which four continents? And here's the thing. They're down to, they've narrowed it down to about 1,000 people now, but the missions don't start till 2025. And then subsequent crews launch every two years, mm -hmm. which means by the time everyone's there, it's like 31 years after you signed up Absolutely. for this. Absolutely. So well, if you're 30 now, you're like over 60 by the time <laughs> you get to Mars. They actually, the, the, those thousand or eight-year-olds. <laughs> well, Not. regardless how we feel about going to Mars, uh, the news here is that they're constructing the Earth-based uh, outposts that replicate the cramped, smushed up quarters that these people will be forced to live in to see if they can get space madness out of the way from potential applicants just, you know, right away, right off the bat. Or they're pretty much just going to recreate that one episode of The Twilight Zone. You know which one I'm talking about. Let us know what you think about all this below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.